Hey, welcome back. Last time you were here, we were busy welding off these railings. And I'm getting ready to take them over here and get them painted. But before I can do that, I've got one more thing to weld up. Today we're going to weld up the handrail and we're going to attach to the side of this stair rail. So come on, I'll show you how I do it. Alright, so this is about everything we're going to need. we got our two volutes, our half inch bar, and our uh, handrail. Let's get this cut down to length. Yep, just like everything else, it starts with some, some measurements. It starts by cutting the belt. Next, we just need to set up our mounting bracket, this half inch by half inch bar. We'll put our bevel cut in it, or our angle, and then we'll bend it. Just so we don't have to force it, I'm gonna go ahead and use some heat. We're gonna heat this up and put it in here and just put a 90 degree bend in it. We just wanna get a 90 in it. But if it's all right, if we go a little too far, we can always bend it back. About like that. Okay, we still have to cut these off, but we're going to let it cool while we're doing that. We're going to go ahead and put a bevel on the edges of this rail where we can weld on our volutes. All right, so in order to get a real good weld here, I'm just going to put a little bevel on this edge. That just gives us a little more to weld to. We'll do the same thing right here. That's about all it takes. Just like that. Okay, after we've got these ground down, we're just going to use this angle iron that I've got set up here on my table. And line this up right here into this corner. Make sure it all lines up nice and straight, and then it's time to weld it out. Okay, so here you can see we got it all lined up. We're just going to tack it before we uh, weld it off. Double check it. Just use a straight edge of some type. Not too bad. I think we can go with that. Okay, and we can flip this over, fill in all this. Alright, flip it over and do the same thing with the other side. Nice. Alright then, now it's just a matter of grinding this down, cleaning it up. Let's get these cut, weld it onto the rail. As I set these, I'm just going to trust my eyeball and line it up this way and this way. Looks pretty good. Well, now it's just a matter of getting this thing cleaned up a little bit. We'll get it on over there and get it painted.
Hey, now, I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. If you're enjoying this series, Do It Yourself Iron Railings, be sure to thank my friends over at kingmetals.com. You can find them here on YouTube or check them out on Facebook. This has been Mitchell Dillman with LogFurnitureHowTo.com. We'll see you again next week.